Okay, getting back into the swing of things, um, video-wise and all that, uh, decided I needed to work on the MTD, mainly because it's still been sewn outside. Uh, you won't see that very well because I've cleared it out here, but there's a good foot and a half out there. So I decided if it, we're getting this sort of weather already in you know, November, December, it's actually December now, uh, might as well have a tractor ready to plow with in case we do need it again. So I managed to get both rear wheels off. I was expecting them to be seized solid, but they seized solid, but they uh, slid right off both sides. See, this thing's got the big uh, four-speed cast iron gearbox, a side shaft input, like yours, uh, Tom. But mine's this is actual MTD lawn flight, and yours is a white. So what I've done so far. Uh, I managed to unseize the brake, and you can see that's it. Just a wee caliper, it's actually a separate caliper from the gearbox and this big disc brake. Uh, I mean, that's the parking brake on and that's really solid. Hopefully, this will turn freely. It's good enough. That's one less. That, that's one thing sorted now. Need to try and figure out this array of pulleys because that should have tension on the belt now, and there really isn't any at all. I don't know if it needs a bigger belt or what exactly, but it's not working anyway. What I'm also going to do is, I think this engine might need rings in one cylinder. That has had really, really thin oil in it because. It was leaking a wee bit out of the exhaust port when it's been sitting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is stick the one out of my mudder on this, just temporarily. Uh, mainly because the pulley's off that one as well, and that's still got one of these notorious, uh, yeah, notorious Westwood pulleys. Like that other one, I had to resort by cutting in half with the sawzall. It's not a pretty machine. I mean. See, it's been attacked with yellow paint, but it'll do. It just needs to get past winter, and then I'll do a restoration on it. So next spring, sometime probably. The other reason I want to use this for a plow tractor is we've got loads of ground clearance on this. Hopefully, if I play my cards right, I can still I can get the. I'm going to rear mount the plow because it helps put pressure on the rear wheels when it's digging in. Uh, but hopefully, I should have a good six inches of clearance under the plow when I'm not using it too, so see how it goes from here. Okay, so the engine's out. Uh, I think I've figured out this clutch as well. This double pulley, this jack shaft, uh, runs separately from the clutch. So actually, with the belt on the front, it should sit down like that, and you can see we've got belt tension now. Just. <laughs> So hopefully this belt I've got for this, that, this thing, it's a bit messed up, but it's all I've got just now, hopefully this will work temporarily, even if it's just to see whether it drives or not. So I've got that engine out, a nicely restored looking engine, uh, I'll have to put this old beater in. and. See if this will actually mount up okay. Uh, then what I'll need to do is wire it all up. But just for the sake of testing it, I'll just you know jump start the thing. See if it'll fire. Because that's not been started in a hell of a long time either. That's been sat for easily six months as well. But being a Briggs, it should start up. I just need to find the uh, mounting plates for this which I put somewhere and can't remember where they are typically, so get in there lads I just had the camera tell me the temperature is too low and I think the hard drive is a bit cold but if this actually records I managed to get the engine hooked up to the rear end uh, I'm going to have to do this quickly before the camera gets too cold you can see 
Now the belt's falling off it. Basically it does some sort of funny wee twist and uh, that's how it works. I'm going to have to shut this off before I lose this clip. <laughs> As you can see uh, there, I had to make a wee belt retainer for that centre pulley so that belt doesn't pop off. Seems to work fairly well. Uh, well, what's running is how do you fill the gearbox oil up on one of these? I was thinking you might need to take the shift fork housing thing off. Uh, other than that, shut up. Seems to, uh, everything else seems to work alright drive wise. I just waiting on this silicon to dry because it leaks a wee bit on the bottom of the fuel tank. Uh, but yeah, it's nearly there. Probably gonna call it a night after this. May have flipped the uh, rear wheels around as well. It's a mega wide stance on the thing now. So that's all the drive system sorted. Tomorrow I'm gonna tackle the electrics, get this frame bolted on properly. Uh, pretty much it, really. <laughs> And then make the power obviously. I've got an oil drum sitting around the uh, back of the garage that I've been saving to make a power out of. So, gonna try and start that tomorrow. Night, guys.